G'day. Welcome to another curriculum burst. Here's a lovely question from Geometry, it's from the grade 10 level. It goes as follows. Keiko walks once around a track at exactly the same constant speed every day. The sides of the track are straight and the ends are semicircles. So I've got a picture here, so straight and semicircles. The track has width 6 meters and it takes her 36, 36 seconds longer to walk around the outside edge of the track than around the inside edge. Okay, so we've got an inside part, an outside part, so it takes her 36 seconds longer to go around the outside part. And I guess it is actually longer, that makes sense. Question is, what is Keiko's speed in meters per second? And as I read that, I'm suddenly having a little bit of a panicky feeling. I don't know if there's enough information in this question. I don't know how long this track actually is. All I know is how wide the it is between the two in and, out in and outer tracks. I don't know how wide it is. I don't even know the radius of these circles. So my first worry is that I don't think there's enough information to answer this question. Nonetheless, this is apparently given in some competition, there is an answer. All right, so strategy, what am I gonna do? I'll do strategy number two, which is simply says, do something, let's do something. So let's be clear. It does make sense that it'll take her longer to walk around the outside than it would the inside. But let's be very clear, what's the difference between the outside track and the inside track in terms of the distance that she's walking? Well, clearly the straight sections on both the inside and the outside are identical. It's really these two semicircles on the left and two semicircles on the right. In fact, let me just uh, switch those together. It's really, if I put the two semicircles together, they're each a full circle. And it's kind of clear that if you're walking around a smaller circle, it will take you less time than walking around a bigger circle, assuming your speed is always the same every time. All right. So really, the difference in distance comes from walking this outer part compared to the inner part. Now, I know it takes her 36, 36 seconds longer to do the outer circle than the inner one. So I've got a time, and I'm being asked about, what is it? What is Keiko's speed in meters? Sorry, speed, distance. Uh, so speed is distance per time. So I've got a time, 36 seconds. I need to find speed. I guess I need to know the distance. What's the extra distance she's walking of the outer circle compared to the inner circle? And again, that panicky feeling is coming back because I don't actually know the radius of these circles. You know, there's one radius, and there's a bigger radius which I guess up here translates, I'm still try, trying to get my brain around this, as follows. All right, well, I'll call the smaller circle radius R. Oh, I'll just do something. Oh, oh. But then I actually do know a form for the bigger radius. We're told the width of the track is six. Everything is six units apart. So this distance here in particular is six. So the larger circle has radius R plus six. The smaller circle has radius R. I have no formulas for the circumference of the circle. I will then have a formula for the length that she has to walk for the big circle and the length of the small circle. And the extra distance will be the big circumference minus the small circumference. Wouldn't that be lovely if that turned out to be a very specific number? So I might want to write that down, see what happens, and see if the question falls into place. So try it out for yourself and see where you get with it. And then when you're ready, check the essay that goes with this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.